Imagine being told that everything you thought you knew about debt is wrong. Yes, you heard me correctly. Debt can actually be a good thing. In today's video, we're going to uncover the surprising benefits of taking on debt and why it can be a smart and strategic financial move. So let's dive in and explore why borrowing money might just be the key to your financial success. First, let's break down what debt really is. Debt is simply money borrowed from a lender with the promise to repay it over time, usually with interest. I know, I know, debt has a bad reputation as a financial burden and a nightmare, but here's the twist. Debt can be a powerful tool when used wisely and strategically. While it's common to hear the advice about avoiding excessive debt, and some even advocate for a completely debt-free lifestyle, moderate debt can actually be beneficial. The negative perception of debt often stems from a misunderstanding of its nature and purpose. Effective management is the key to transforming debt into a financial asset that can lead to prosperity. It's crucial to understand the distinction between various types of debt. For instance, there's a big difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debt, like student loans or a mortgage, can be an investment in your future. Bad debt, like high interest credit card debt, can drag you down if not managed properly. By distinguishing these two types and using debt to your advantage, you can leverage it to help you build wealth and achieve financial goals. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's explore how debt, when handled correctly, can actually work in your favor. Let's start by discussing the differences between good debt and bad debt, starting with bad debt first. These are the types of bad debt. For one, consumer debt. These include personal or family or household debt, like credit card balances and personal loans. Imagine this scenario. You find yourself drowning in credit card debt. So you take out a consumer loan to consolidate and pay off those high interest balances. Sounds like a smart move, right? But here's the catch, and this is what usually happens. Once those credit cards are paid off, many people fall into the trap of racking up those credit card balances all over again. Now, instead of just having the consumer loan to worry about, you're also back to dealing with the high credit card bills. This cycle can quickly lead to a financial nightmare, creating what we call bad debt. Bad debt like this doesn't help you generate cash flow. In fact, it depletes the little cash flow you might have. The second one, the next one, number two, payday loans. Short-term high interest loans typically due on the borrower's next payday. Picture this, it's the day before rent is due, but payday isn't until Friday. Your landlord is demanding payment and you're in a cash crunch. Or perhaps your car suddenly breaks down and you don't have the emergency funds to cover the repairs. In situations like these, some people turn to payday loans to get quick cash. Payday loans can seem like a lifesaver because you can often get the money within 24 hours. However, they come with extremely high interest rates, sometimes upwards to 50%, which can create a vicious cycle of debt. You might get a payday loan equivalent to one week's paycheck, but end up paying back nearly two weeks worth of your pay, of your paycheck because of these very high fees. These loans are prime example of bad debt because the high cost can drain your finances even further. Understanding and preparing for financial emergencies can help you avoid the need for such high cost borrowing. Number three, credit card debt accumulated by using credit cards for purchases leading to interest charges on unpaid balances. We are all familiar with credit card debt. In my opinion, people tend to rack up credit card debt because they mistakenly view their credit card balances as part of their income. They don't consider that the money they spend on their credit card will come due in 30 days. When that 30 day mark arrives, they often find themselves unable to pay off the balances. This can happen because they either lack sufficient cash flow to cover the debt or unexpected expenses has prevented them from paying it off as planned. And as a result, the balance rolls over to next month, accruing significant interest, often around 17 to 18%. I do know there are some credit cards that charge upwards to 27%. Meanwhile, they continue using the credit card, adding to the balance. This creates a snowball effect, leading to a cycle of debt that is very hard to escape. 
But here's the good news. There is good debt. And let's talk about those. Number one, business debt. Incurred by businesses to support operations expansions, investments comprising of bonds, bank loans, and lines of credit. For instance, using the example of a salon, acquiring debt to expand or improve services could attract more customers, leading to increased revenue. This increased revenue can then be utilized not only to cover the debt, but also to boost profits and potentially expand further. It's essential, however, to be strategic and diligent in managing debt ensuring that the returns from the investments outweigh the cost of borrowing. By doing so, businesses can leverage debt as a tool for growth rather than a burden. Number two, mortgage debt. Specific loans for real estate purchases with the property as collateral. Mortgage debt for commercial property can be a strategic investment for several reasons. First, it allows you to acquire valuable commercial real estate without needing the full purchase price upfront. By securing a mortgage, you can leverage the property's potential to generate income, whether through renting it out to businesses or using it to expand your own operations. For example, if you take out a mortgage to buy an office building or a retail space, the rental income from tenants can help cover the mortgage payments. Over time, as the property value typically appreciates, the equity in the property increases as well, boosting your overall net worth. Additionally, owning commercial property can offer significant tax benefits, such as deductions on mortgage interest and property depreciation. All right, so let's move on to number three, student loan debt. Funding for educational expenses like tuition, books, and living costs uh, can be very valuable. Student debt can be valuable investment in your future for several key reasons. First, it enables you to access higher education, which can significantly enhance your career prospects and earning potential. By obtaining a degree or advancing training, you can qualify for higher paying jobs and more specialized roles, which can lead to greater financial stability and career growth over time. For instance, Taking out student loans to complete a degree in a high demand field can increase your lifetime earning substantially. The initial debt can be seen as an investment in your human capital, providing you with the skills and credentials needed to succeed in a competitive job market. Additionally, many student loans come with relatively low interest rates and flexible repayment options, making them more manageable form of debt compared to other types of borrowing. By leveraging debt, individuals can invest in opportunities that have the potential to yield significant returns. For example, taking out a loan to start a business can lead to long-term financial success and independence. Real estate investments are another avenue where debt can be utilized to acquire valuable assets that appreciate in value. Additionally, using debt to fund education or skill training can enhance earning potential and career advancement. So as you see, the word debt gets a bad connotation, but by using debt to finance these ventures or businesses, you can accelerate your financial growth and achieve your goals much faster than if you were relying solely on your own savings. That's really the point, isn't it? Debt allows you to use someone else's money to fund your ideas or businesses. It's like creating something from nothing. Managing debt responsibly, making timely payments, and ensuring that investments generate returns are key factors in leveraging debt effectively. Your investments must generate a return that is sufficient to cover your debt repayments and generate a profit. Ultimately, when you use debt wisely and in conjunction with sound financial strategies, debt can be a valuable tool in building wealth and achieving your financial goals.